Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of After Bath, Before Bed and Beyond. Tonight is our last night of the week. It is Thursday night and remember I will not upload again until next Thursday. We are out of school for Mardi Gras so we will not upload while we are out of school. I hope everyone has a happy and safe Mardi Gras. Now tonight to get us into the party mode I want to read you guys a book and tonight this book is called The Night Before Mardi Gras, and it is written and illustrated by Gail Perkins Nettles. Let's jump in. It was the night before Mardi Gras and all through the South. Not one child was stirring. They were all sacked out. They had to be good, so they went straight to bed to get plenty of rest for the big day ahead. They snuggled and snored and dreamed the night away of floats and beads and an exciting Mardi Gras day. Up they arose with a great big yawn and threw on their costumes, although it was barely dawn. They jumped in the car, they could hardly wait to see the parade and they couldn't be late. When out on the street, we saw such a scene. The floats were Mardi Gras colors, purple, gold, and green. As they rolled by, the children would shout, throw me something, mister, while jumping all about. Beads and doubloons were flying high through the air. The children were snatching them without any care. Parade goers wore masks with feathers and such. Their costumes were fancy with a colorful touch. Everyone was celebrating, was celebrating and dancing to the beat of the Mardi Gras music all out in the street. When the parade was over and the king and queen were done, everyone was happy and had lots of fun. So many good memories of a great Mardi Gras day left the children sad because they couldn't stay. They waved goodbye and shed a tear, but they'll be back again next year.
So they ate boiled crawfish, king cake, and beignets too. Then it was time to bid all adieu. Then they heard them cheer as they drove out of sight. Happy Mardi Gras to all and to all a good night. But wait a minute. That was only the night before Mardi Gras. Can you believe it was only a dream? Now the clock ticks time to go and have the best Mardi Gras you've ever seen. The end. Well, I hope all of you have a wonderfully safe Mardi Gras and eat lots of crawfish, lots of king cake, and have lots of beignets too, and catch lots of throws at the parade. Don't forget to yell, throw me something, mister. And I hope you guys have wonderful stories to tell me when we get back to school. And everyone have wonderfully sweet dreams that take you beyond. Good night.